YouTube, back with another one. We got we got train versus Lamborghini. This is that don't even, that title don't even make sense. First off, because a train can't stand a Lamborghini. I mean, a Lamborghini, Lamborghini is stand. way faster than the train. Okay, no, uh, it's not. Is it? A but train, train made more running. durable than the Lamborghini. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. But we got Mr. Beast, bro. Let's watch the video, man. Versus, so I'm just trying to see what we versus. You know what I'm saying? You right. I'm thinking. I'm thinking like football. Feel me? Wait a minute. Sitting on these train tracks is a quarter million dollar Lamborghini and barreling down on it right now is a massive train. But before the impact, I'm giving this Lamborghini to Blake. Thank you. And on top of sending the train, I'm also gonna have these eight soldiers shoot 10,000 bullets at your Lamborghini. That's the scariest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, it's good. What re, why, why though? What was his reasoning? I don't know what the train to the Lamborghinis I already know. Why is the soldiers shooting eight thousand bullets at a car fool? The car is gonna be old with regardless. At either one. Oh it. It'll be fun. And you have exactly 24 hours to build whatever you want to protect your Lamborghini from the bullets. The timer starts now. Okay, first line of defense, I'm thinking a wall of cinder blocks. After that, some shipping containers filled with refrigerators. And then basically just a wall of cars to block the why he always want to so? Oh man, words are difficult. Why he always want to blow up supercars? He could have got him a five Honda. Even the guy do win the Lamborghini, bro. If the guy ain't no got no got no money, he ain't keeping the Lamborghini. He getting that money on. Getting that money, but get what though? That train, bro. I don't think he gonna stop that train, bro. The bullets ain't gonna be as bad. That train though, be. I told you, is, is it stages to this? Did they say yet or, or what? Mm -mm. No, no. Those bullets. Do you think all of this is enough to stop 10,000 bullets? I think it is, Jimmy. Okay, but so far nothing's oh. there. You should get to building. Blake immediately drove to three. What kind of bullets? We like, we talking about some regular bullets. See, it's so easy to these stop 10,000 bullets. That's what I'm saying. But these military, so it might be the armor pierce. Stores where I gave him my credit card and he literally spent $78,000 on supplies. And since I don't want to bore you with all that, let's just skip to the part when everything was delivered. His first round of supplies are starting to show up. Oh my god, I can't believe I bought it. That the man got a set in the middle of nowhere. All these lights drew, drew a green patch and got a train with that with a train track that ends on the other side of it. He put a how he get a train out there? In the train track. All this stuff, and this isn't even everything, man. He's got a water truck. Some of his junk cars came in. He's got a Connex crate over here. How did he get this much stuff? This is crazy. Don't worry about the guys with the machine guns. Just pretend they're not there. Yeah. I don't even know what they're doing there, honestly. We're five hours in, and this storage crazy. container is about to be the got first. Delivering all this stuff out here. They got, got military. Yeah, like they ready to shoot at me. Why they already pointing their guns, though, bro? Line of defense. Though, we really don't know. Oh, they not. They not right there. I'm finna say, y'all, we don't really know. Against 10,000 bullets. All right, that's probably good. That's probably good. Do you think that shipping container is gonna stop any bullets? Absolutely not. So as of now, he's screwed. Yeah, he's not looking good for him. Oh, gosh. It's Wait a minute. What kind of bullet are we talking about? How, when does the shipping container not stop bullets? He must be shooting. The, I mean, the bullet gonna go through that shipping container for sure. I shoot through them on Call of Duty. But the refrigerator should no. save it with the cars. Refrigerator? They said refrigerators in that shipping containment. It's gonna be full of uh, what's the name? So been about six hours. Are you happy with your progress? I'm very happy. You sure? It wasn't until this thing got down, but now that it's down, dude, I feel really good. I asked them if this would stop the bullets, and they said no. And once Blake realized he had to go all out, <laughs> he worked not only through the night. This way, Mr. Railroad ties. Nice, nice, yes. Really nice, really nice. But even into the next morning, upgrading his defense. Dude, he's stuffing the storage container with a van and a giant tube. And once I saw it put together, I was honestly pretty impressed. Run me through what you built. So I built a whole bunch of concrete in the front, and the tallest part of the wall is right in the center to block the crow's nest machine guns, because those things are big and scary. I got all my storage containers and a bunch of water. And if you come uh, right over here, you will see his Lamborghini tucked away amongst everything. There it is, nice and cozy. Do you think all of this will stop the bullets? Yeah, I do. I think you have a 50% chance of survival. What's the best odds I've had yet? So. And before shooting, I have bro. them shoot 10,000 rounds, come with me to the Lamborghini. Not only are you competing for this Lamborghini, but for 100 grand as well. What? Wow. Oh, that's a good deal.
bear with us on the ass. Real ass. Mm. Okay, skill. 15 min, 15 seconds. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Huh? This will be enough to cover the insurance. <laughs> 24 hours is up. Eight scary men, 10,000 bullets. Versus everything that Blake has built. Are you ready? Just get it over with. Freaking out. We're locked and loaded, ready to fire on you, heavy. Sir, fire at will. Roger that. Stand by! Fire! Oh my god. They are unloading on his fortress. Oh my god, make them stop. Make them stop. Uh, they're actually ripping through the center box now. Oh man. Oh god. Yo, Blake's walls are crumbling. And what we haven't told Blake is these guns are only the first of four phases we've designed to destroy this Lamborghini. Or should I say, whatever remains after this. They just brought out the LMG. Behind less to protect themselves, a, a boat of, of a mound of dirt. Now you talking about actually cinder block stuff? Ain't no way. Yeah, he ain't shooting through. And it's going in his Lambo. Oh my oh, god! Do the last bullets. Let's go! All clear. Let's go! Oh god! Please be safe! Please be safe! Shoot. How is it? She's clean, baby! 10,000 rounds and not one connection, baby. There's no bullet holes in your Lamborghini. And if you don't already know who Blake is, he's actually a contestant from two previous videos. But today he's same, back dude. for a third the and same, final dude. attempt to win the Grand Prix. Peep, though, because we did you. this one. Yeah. Because yeah, it's super similar to that video we did. Rise. Are you ready for phase two? Yes. See that giant crane coming? That big yellow oil rig looking thing? That is phase two. That crane is going to lift your car up 100 feet and then in 24 hours drop it and you have to catch it without it being destroyed. First off, what? seriously? Yeah. Wait All a right, minute. Bring it over man. here. How is he going to do that? How? How are you going to do what? Catch the car. How can you better get a trampoline. He gonna have to, but even if the car fall from that much, like the impact still gonna mess him up in that car. That car over. It ain't no real Lambo. Can't be nobody yeah. dropping on no Lambo from no with high me feet. Uh -uh. Pure. And while we prepare the world's first hundred foot Pure. Lamborghini free fall, there goes your Lamborghini, Blake. Blake began to strategize on how he was going to catch it. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Chandler, come over here. Yes, I'm here. How would you break its fall? So you get all the pillows in the city. Okay. Step two. Get all the mattresses. Next, get a blanket. Chandler, you're just making a giant bed. Then a warm glass of milk. <laughs> all right, stop. You're not helping. Blake, work your magic. Oh, I'm screwed. <laughs> all right, guys. I got some good news and bad news. We passed day one with flying colors. The bad news is uh, the Lamborghini is airborne, okay? <laughs> so, anyone got any ideas? I mean, uh, you got, you know, I mean, like, what do we think? The bouncy castles? Bouncy castles, that, that's actually not that bad, just because that's not bad at all, really. And after being inspired by the construction <laughs> worker's wisdom, Blake had decided on his master plan. I would like to move the connexes in like a square right here with the X in the middle, and that way I can just fill the square up with a bunch of air mattresses, pillows, bubble wrap, and I'll top it all off with a bunch of bouncy castles. Just, you know, the biggest problem right now is I have no materials. Everything that I bought is hard, concrete, or metal, and nothing that I bought I can use for day two, so I have absolutely nothing. And so Blake sent his crew to buy every pillow and air mattress in the city. And even though he was incredibly sleep deprived, he got to work. I'm already at the stage where it's like, wait, why am I doing this again? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm in a challenge for a Lamborghini that's floating in the sky right now. By the time his materials had arrived, Blake had been awake for over 24 hours and was in desperate need of sleep. I'm gonna try to get some sleep because I'm exhausted and it's four in the morning and with how exhausted blake was he ended up sleeping for way longer than he planned no as way. always blake no way. um no way is he serious what is this he got mattresses pillows and blankets but he's missing the warm milk yeah that's the key to everything <laughs> where is blake He's asleep, I heard. No, he's not. Yeah. By the time Blake got on site, it was already super late in the day. That's Blake's truck pulling up. All right, we need to get to work, come on. All right, let's just see what this looks like. 
Ooh. That bouncy house works as a big bar. So I'm thinking maybe we put that thing in the middle now and then we start blowing it up. Only four and a half hours remain and it's not looking good for Blake. I don't think he has more than a 10% chance of catching that Lamborghini. And even if he does, there's no shot he's stopping that train later on. Start filling up the side so that way it's high over here, takes away this wall. So with only a couple of hours remaining, Blake did all that he could by filling the rest of his pit with cardboard boxes and bubble wrap. It's coming down to the wire. Chandler, how much time is left? One hour. Blake is screwed. I have a little bit of bubble wrap left. I think I'm just gonna get raised on this thing and just wrap my baby up in this bubble wrap and I'm good to go. That's definitely gonna help. Blake spent what little time he had remaining on this crane, failing <laughs> at trying to bubble wrap his car. It's just not gonna work. You know what time it is? What? Time to drop the car. You should have never tried that. I was, that was just stupid. They wanted him to lay a bubble wrap. Everything was on the bus. Oh, got it. Got it. Let's drop this bad boy. The failed bubble wrap makes it look majestic. Like, do you think your Lamborghini will survive? I'm positive, Jimmy. He's more certain than me. I'm positive about this one. I bought every air mask at Walmart. If this round two though. It can't make past round two, it's waste of a video, but it is, yeah, he got a long ways. He's making past round two. Don't catch it, I don't know what will. I did everything I can. Here's a few stools bar, Blake. Oh, thank you, Mr. You know, that way, even if you lose the car, at least you have some good chocolate. It's available in Walmart. Be sure to go try our new chocolate bar. I'm so I curious what you think. think. But anyways, you have three bouncy castles, 150 yeah, mattresses, how many pillows? 150. 150 pillows and 2,000 cardboard boxes. Will it break the Lamborghini's fall? Yes. Yes! That's two yeses. Okay. 24 hours of work, down to this, no pun intended. Three, two, one, drop the Lamborghini! You might catch it though, if it lands. This ain't twist. It's flat too. It's flat. Yeah, no, 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 no. Out of my way! That did not sound good. Please be okay, please be okay, please be okay, please be okay. All right, he's moving the counter straight out the way. There's no way you got that Lambo. Get these boxes out of the way. Oh! What? We're about to find out how damaged this car is. The lights work. Ooh. The lights work? Yeah, this Princess Castle might have saved this entire car. <laughs> Moment of truth! You might have been the first person in history to catch a Lamborghini. If it turns on. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. I can't believe it! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! She's alive! Everything looks good, minus a little crack in the bumper. Which we found out by this official appraiser. This was only going to reduce the price of Blake's Lamborghini by- Probably 10 grand. Thank you so much. Thanks for the good news. <laughs> and now is the perfect time to mention no that phase three is flaming cars. For Blake's next challenge, we're bringing back his biggest nightmare. We that's, have recreated that's, that's the flaming cars- Beating this right here is insane, it's almost bro. impossible. That's, Only way you probably can beat this is maybe put your phone, I mean, put your car in, in water, which you can't do. Uh, I don't even got no answer for this. I don't know how to beat that one. Cause you gotta, you gotta protect it from the falling cars and you gotta make it fireproof. Maybe you, maybe if he can build a bunker full of water where his car is like inside of it, but the water's like in containers around need, it. I don't think you need no water. I think you need a strong bunker above the car and around the car. That but you way. gotta stop the fire some way. Like yeah, last time he had a bunker waterproof. and the the bunker got so hot it burnt. Yeah. The money. Right. <laughs> Challenge that cost Blake everything last time. Wow. That's a low blow. Too. But seeing how he's done this before, we're gonna up the stakes by dropping twice as many cars as last time. I'll he see didn't even tomorrow. make it past last time. I think he's just doing it for a video. Cause like, why would you double it if he didn't even make it? That's evil, Mr. Beast. I got a lot to prove. Redemption day. Blake spent the rest of the night disassembling hours? his it? defense for phase two. And after a good night of sleep, he was ready to begin his defense for phase three. It's eight in the morning, just woke up. We got a lot of work to do today, so let's get started. Here's the day three plan. I'm gonna cut the bottom out of a shipping container and I'm gonna drop it right on the car. Next, I'm gonna take two more containers and I'm gonna lean them up, coming to a point right above the car. And most importantly, nothing flammable this time. Do you think that will deflect the car? Yes. 
sir. Oh, I thought you were going to say no. <laughs> Blake then asked his crew to remove every piece of wood that was in the container because that's what ended his challenge last time. He then had them cut out the bottom of the container that would surround the Lamborghini. The storage container could put a lot of damage. Really crush it? Yeah. You can? I mean, yeah, that thing weighs a whole lot. And with that being done, Blake just needs to lower the container carefully over the Lamborghini without damaging. One scratch could cost him thousands of dollars. You're good, just like that. It is so close to scraping the car. Watch your fingers, we're coming down. Yes! I yes! cannot believe that. All right, next we're gonna bring these containers together to form a V. What if the car gets caught in there? Yeah, that's, that can't happen, dude. That's why we're putting this pointy thing at the top. Do you think that will actually deflect their car? 100%. Building stuff and everything this time. He might got a chance of he can deflect yeah. all the cars from like actually good. burning. He should be good, fool. 20 minutes remain, and then we see if that Lamborghini perishes just like his 500 grand. And as usual, Blake utilized every last second. Three, two, one. Not quite sure what that dirt accomplished. <laughs> time is up. No. Let's see if unlike last time, you survive phase three. Redemption. I think he might be straight. Can you cut? You like what y'all think? Y'all think he gonna make it or not? I think he good right here. Think he Gucci and he look good right here. He lives five hundred thousand dollars from this exact challenge. How are you feeling? I feel pretty confident. I think the viewers want to know one thing. Did you put wood inside of there like last time? A little bit. No, I'm just kidding. There's no wood in there. It was one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made in my life. Moment of truth. Come on Ooh. in. Three shipping containers, a bunch of dirt, concrete, a weird like pointed roof thing versus 10 flaming cars. Are you ready? Let's go, dude. Light it on fire. Will Blake be one step okay. closer Welcome to inside. going home with a brand new Lamborghini? Filled with $100,000 or be eliminated and go home with nothing. We're about to find out. Three, two, one. Drop it. Oh, my boy. Lamborghini been to the thing. You're going to have to get a whole new Lamborghini. That's the thing go with. Sell, sell that and don't tell nobody what happened. Change the color on it. Oh. 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 Oh, you did not. I feel like that's exactly what he didn't want oh. to happen. Oh, that's the worst that could have happened. Just cut the car in half. Literally, the the point just broke instantly. He the car went right flat. in the point. He should have made it flat. He should have yeah. made it flat and welded all that shit, fool. All that look. Because that point wasn't as it wouldn't have been as durable as a flat. Yeah, you true. Oh, no. He might have been true. You still feeling good? Not as good. Yeah, this is giving me some flashbacks. It's giving you some flashbacks. All right. But ready for the next one? It's flammable this time. Drop it. Oh, my God. The roof looks like it's already buckling. And just in case Blake loses to the flaming cars like last time, I'm going to take this moment and tell you about this amazing new phone. What you're currently watching on is the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Ooh. This phone can record slow-mo and 4K. The camera on this is crazy. We're like 200 feet away and it's nighttime and look at how crystal clear it is. <laughs> and go ahead and drop it. Oh, oh. oh that hurt but to watch. Is, it also has thing a- that'll be messed up if it, if that, uh, if the roof collapsed. If, the, yeah, if he, the roof don't collapse, he's great. Ton of new features with Galaxy AI, AI like already. photo assist. Remember the last challenge when the bumper got cracked on the Lambo? You can just circle it like this, and then all you do is you hit that eraser button, and just like that, the bumper is fixed. I have a new car. For the picture you do. Whatever you're ready. This phone also has circle to search with Google, which oh, makes finding hey, man, information no. incredibly easy. It would have helped Blake a lot in the last video to learn about the flammability of wood and railroad ties. All he needed to do was long press the home button, circle the railroad ties, and ask, is this flammable? As you can see, railroad ties are flammable. He would have learned the answers instantly. Could have just told you. I was genuinely impressed by this phone, and I think you will be too. So, go to samsung.com, click the link in the description, or scan this QR code to check it out right now. And let's drop the next car. We dropped car after car. And with each one, we could tell Blake was getting nervous. But we also noticed that all of the impacts were starting to damage the crate itself. Your crate on the bottom is Boeing. 
At this point, the container protecting the Lamborghini was being crushed by the weight and heat of the cars. I thought about this every day since the last time I saw this. And now it's time for the final car! Yes! Oh, 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 no. Bro, it's gotta be a thousand degrees in there. His car has to be melting now. We got the fire extinguisher. Somehow he's yeah, running. Go. Go. Be careful. Yeah, look. No, you, I'm I'm How is it? It's okay. It's okay. Yes! You like that? No, come on. If one more car was dropped, this crate would have collapsed. You stopped 10,000 so bullets. Easy. You caught a car out of midair. You now deflected 10 plays. One more challenge. One more fool. Is he gonna make it? Stop that train, B. Now stopping the train is pretty crazy. How you stopping the train? You just gotta just put, put enough strong thing. stuff to make it knock off track. Mmm, if you put a ramp, that more gonna uh, that fly off gone. the tracks. It'd be gone, B. Cars, and now it's time for phase four. Bring on the train. The top. Hey, Mr. Beast. Cause you're not bad, that train gonna leave it. <laughs> now that train ain't going. The timer bad. has officially started. I gotta go. Good luck on phase four. Godspeed. What is he even running at? Blake knew that the train was going to be the most deadly attack yet. So he wasted no time in getting started. I think the best way to stop a train is to derail it. That's what I'm trying to build here. All these railroad ties are tucked snug, and all of these are gonna go under the train, the train's gonna hit them like that. And if I do that a hundred more times, I don't see the train just blowing past all that. The railroad ties lost me the challenge last video. This time, they'll save me. You just need two inches off the track, and I win. Two inches is a lot, though. My man. And then once I have all this done, I can just put concrete on top. I think that's gonna work, man. I think that's gonna work. Lake worked with his crew throughout the yeah, the train though, it like he putting it he like putting he putting before he started. Yeah, the so the train he ching. I wonder how long they gonna have it going before they just say it's over with. But they just gonna the have entire the night. Just... And when I showed up the next morning, it was Ripping. obvious that the challenge had taken a toll on him. What's up, Jimbo? What happened to your voice? I'm like dying out here. As you guys know, he lost two hundred fifty thousand dollars <laughs> in this video. He lost half. Mr. Beast can't cap. It lost your money, bro. A million dollars in this video. I think Blake is oh, sick wait, and tired man. of losing. He has an army going super hard. They're currently stacking the cars that we dropped on phase three on the train tracks. But time was still ticking down. And in order to stop this train and take his Lambo home, Blake began adding a lot more objects to Ain't the no tracks. Way like shipping containers, to. mattresses to cushion the impact. Mm -hmm. Blake's worked so hard. I'm now on his team. And water tanks. Blake really seems to know what he's doing. Too bad there's only 11 minutes left. At this point, Blake did everything he could to finish his build before time ran out. And it was actually starting to look impressive. This is it. Three. If they just start that train, there's no way it's getting there. But they the bag train, it up. Yeah, they're gonna have to bag it up real far and go about 200 miles per hour. Cause I don't think the train gonna be able to move right now. The final stretch. Two, one. Last line of defense. Time's up, stop, turn it off, turn it off. Time is officially up. Oh my God. From phase one's shipping containers, phase two's mattresses, and even phase three's burning cars, you somehow use all the resources from the previous phases. Let's see if you're driving home in a Lamborghini or if I'm dropping you off at your house. Bring that train on, man, bring it on. Before we ram everything, we need to back the train up. We're gonna go really far back, that way the train can pick up a lot of speed before it hits everything. Sound like a good idea? No, Jimmy, that sounds awful. Be honest, do you think your Lamborghini will survive? God, I hope so, Jimmy. And of course, we had to put the Feastables logo on the train. The new formula is the best shot on Earth. Do yourself a favor and go give it a try. But for now, it's time for the biggest moment of Blake's life. Let's see if he wins a Lamborghini. Blake, any last words? Give it all you got. Send the train. Here it comes. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's coming! It's gonna speed up until it hits 35 miles an hour right before it. What? Dude, it is gonna be quick. It's just gonna derail, it's just gonna derail. Here it comes! Let's see if it was all worth it. It's over, bro. We like it's going down. Wait, oh, oh yeah, wait, 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 I think it stopped. Oh my god, wait, I've never seen so much. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I did it. I ain't gonna the hardest. Yeah. The hardest one was the um, fire for real. The fire, though. Oh my god. 
This is your new Lamborghini, boy. Not only did he win the Lamborghini, but he also got all this money. He was bound to win. That man was in so many videos, bro. He, he, he got to try this one twice, too, though. Same video. Yeah, so he was bound to win. Yeah. That's a good look. Yes! Congrats! I did it! You want to know the best way to end this video, Blake? What? Well, I've been going to Walmart and buying Feastables right now. It's the best tasting chocolate on the planet. Third time's the charm. See you guys later. Yes! But I mean, Mr. Beast was a thousand cameras, man. You see all these cameras? It was like so through mode. Many cameras. Mr. Beast. Go through some cameras, boy. Mm -hmm. They just walk on the side of the Lambo. What? Because you can't fit all them people. But yeah. Yo. That is crazy. Y'all think he was gonna y'all thought he was gonna make it. I ain't yeah. think so. I ain't gonna lie. Man, I knew he was gonna make it after the third try. Wow, well, yeah, when they showed that it was his third try, like y'all made it probably. You so. gotta make it. Got but, yeah, to man. That was the reaction, man. Like, comment, subscribe. And always send us videos to watch, bro. Oh. Keep doing that. <laughs> now you can do it. Stay y'all.